It was a bittersweet night for welterweight contender Thomas Lamanner as he won a 10-round unanimous decision over George Sosa in an entertaining bout in front of a capacity crowd at the Claridge Hotel in Atlantic City. The 11-bout card was promoted by rising promotions. La Manor won the WBC Silver Latino welterweight title and shortly after, the fighter known as Cornflake promptly announced his retirement in the ring. The two traded big blows throughout the bout as Sosa came out very aggressively and was able to land some good right hands. La Manor was giving better of the two-away action, which had the sold-out crowd very enthused throughout the contest. In round two, Sosa started to swell under his left eye. In round six, he started bleeding badly from his nose as the result of pinpoint shots from Lamana. In round six, Lamana was dominant by scoring two knockdowns from body shots. Lamana was relentless in battering Sosa all over the ring with Sosa lucky to hear the bell to culminate the round. Both guys traded hard shots down the stretch with Lamana getting the better of the action. Every so often, Sosa was able to score with hard shots, but they were few and far between. Lamana sat down on his punches and landed thudding blows as he tried to get the stoppage against the tough Sosa. Lamana, 147 pounds of Millville, NJ1 by scores of 9,890 twice and 9,988 to raise his record to 242. Sosa of Reading, Pennsylvania falls to 15-10. The body work, the distance and the jab was working for me. He was long and tall so we worked on the distance and I started to put my punches together. The bodywork is what put him down, said Lamana. I took some shots from him, but that is not what I go in wanting to do. I wore him down, worked the body, touched his arms and touched his body. It feels so great to win a championship and to get that hardware. Then Lamana announced that this would be his last fight. It's over, it's over, I put a lot of years into this. This is it. I want to thank my parents Vinny Ponti my promoter, my trainer and everybody who have helped me along the way. Former world champion Amamu Mayfield and Lamont Capers slugged it out to an A-tran split draw in their cruiserweight bout. In round 6, Mayfield was cut over his left eye from a punch and Capers had bad swelling over his left eye from a headbutt. Each fighter took a card by a 7,775 tally while third card read even at 7,676. Mayfield 200 pounds of freehold, NJ is now 26,103. Capers 196 pounds of Hawley, PA is 7,103. Yurik maimed off won a sixth round unanimous decision over Ariel Vasquez in a welterweight bout. Maimed off, 145.5 pounds of Brooklyn, NY1 by scores of 6,054 on all cards, and is now 70. The Vasquez, 145.3 pounds of Managua, Nook is 12,192. Emmanuel Rodriguez won a four-round unanimous decision over pro-debuting Willie Anderson. Scores were 4,036 on all cards for Rodriguez, 119 pounds of Newark, New Jersey, and he is now 20. Anderson, 122 pounds of Paulsborough, NJ is 01. Anderson is the son of former Los Angeles Rams wide receiver Willie Flipper Anderson. Vidal Rivera won a four-round unanimous decision over Wee UC Johnson in a featherweight bout. Despite being cut over his left eye in round two, Rivera was able to sweep all cards to the tune of 4,036. Rivera, 128.6 pounds of Camden, New Jersey is now 70. Johnson, 130.3 pounds of Wilmington, Delaware is 25. Frederick Julan stopped Talek Taylor in the sixth and final round of the light heavyweight bout. Julan landed a hard left that sent Taylor staggering back into to the ropes, and about was stopped at 115. Julan, 173 pounds of Brooklyn is now 60 with three stoppages. Taylor, 177 pounds of Freeport, NY is 28. Alvin Vermel, Jr. stopped Lamarcus Tucker in round two of the scheduled six-round cruiserweight bout. Vermel was dominant as he landed power shots from the early stages in round one. In round two, he landed three vicious shots that sent Tucker into a defenseless state, and the bout was stopped at 218. Vermel, Jr., 192 pounds of Catskills, NY is now 13.01 with 11 knockouts. 
Tucker is 431. Thomas Romain win a four-round majority decision over pro-debuting Marcos Lugo in a lightweight bout. Romain, 131.7 pounds of Brooklyn, NY1 by scores of 4,036, 3,937 and 3,838 than is now 41. Lugo, 131.6 pounds of Vineland, NJ is 01. Nahir Albright flat in Ronald Logan in 77 seconds of the scheduled four-round junior welterweight bout. Albright landed a perfect right that sent Logan down for several minutes. Albright, 139.1 pounds of Philadelphia is 21 with one knockout. Logan, 140 pounds of New York, New York is 02. Anthony Young won a six-round unanimous decision over Carlos Winston Velasquez in a welterweight bout. Young, 144 12 pounds of Pleasantville, NJ1 by scores of 6,054 on all cards, and is now 182. Velasquez, 145 12 pounds of Managua, Nook is 25,302. Joshifat Ortiz won a four-round unanimous decision over Siddle Blocker in a lightweight bout. Ortiz, 129 pounds of Reading, Pennsylvania, one on two cards, 4,036 and 3,937, and is now 20. Blogger, 128 pounds of Pleasantville, NJ is 191.